Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today I'm going to be going over 99 overall Signature Series Miguel Cabrera. This card is obtainable through Signature Series packs or through the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 15,000 stubs. So this card raked for me uh, and was overall just pretty good. It was pretty much one of those cards where what you see is what you get. Um, a lot of doubles in the gap. This card has a really nice gap swing. Uh, a lot of opposite field gappers with this card is was my experience mostly. Um, obviously the high contact is nice. The vision isn't terrible. Most of the clips you'll see after this were on Hall of Fame and I thought his PCI size was fine. In fact, it, I thought it was maybe even a little bigger than what I thought it was gonna be, which was nice. So um, obviously Miggy has a nice swing but not a lot of home runs for me, mostly because, like I said, his swing really complements, uh, really produces singles and doubles, mostly, which is fine. I mean, anytime you rip one opposite field in the gap, it always feels good. Uh, also, one of the sickest, no doubt, animations that I've seen for home runs, uh, just classic Miggy. They did really well on that one. But yeah, like I said, defensively, nothing special. In fact, pretty below average. I've spent a lot of time with Rogers Hornsby this year at third base, so I'm kind of used to it. But if you're looking for amazing defensive plays at third base, this is definitely not the card for you. Um, but yeah, pretty much what you see is what you get. I'm going to say that again. Um, really good hitter. Uh, lots of doubles and extra base hits. Um, still a decent amount of power and a good swing. So uh, going to be one of the shorter reviews just because... I mean, what else is there to say? I loved using this card. He was super fun. Um, and for the price, I think this is one of the best options in the game for his position. Unfortunately, um, third base is really flooded these days. But as far as budget third basemen go, really it's a toss-up between this guy and Miguel Cabrera. And I, sorry, this guy and George Brett. And I think I would go with Miguel Cabrera over George Brett at this point in the game for 15K. So that's how good I think Miguel Cabrera is. Uh, so as always, we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta. And we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. How he rates in the meta, I'll give him an A-. minus. Pretty good third baseman, just at a really deep position with a lot of options at this point in the year. Uh, and for the price, I'll give him an A+. Plus. I think that 15K for a card like this is a really good deal. And if you're looking to move some stubs around on your team, you can definitely get away with having this guy as your third or first baseman for cheap, and he's going to perform super well for you. So I hope you all enjoyed this card review. Let me know down in the comment section below who you want me to review in the next video. Enjoy the clips after this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Good thing Miggy's not terrible. LOL. Miguel Cabrera. Miggy feels nice too, man. Miggy again, bro. This card is fucking raking, dude. No joke. No meme. Miggy, you go to the well too many times, my friend. No doubt, some saves come easy. Swing and a drive to right center. Hey, that ball's gonna be way out of here.